Hey guys, Stacy here. I'm in the middle of packing for my trip to Disney World and Universal Studios, <laughs> but Disney World as well. But before I continue on, there are a few things I need to do, which is record some Star Stable videos and cover two Owl Crate boxes that I have not yet unboxed. So we have one. One Owl Crate box. Two. Two Owl Crate boxes. So we have August and September. I forget which is which. I'm gonna have to check. They're slightly different sizes. Um, but both are gonna be very exciting, I'm sure. <laughs> so we are gonna start with the August box and then move on to July. This is the inside of the August crate. I took out the, uh, uh, you know, those little paper thingies. Ruthless Royals is the theme. That's pretty exciting. Uh, yes, when it comes to cake, I can imagine that we would be pretty ruthless. <laughs> Anyone would. Well, okay, I don't know where to start, except I picked this up first. It looks like a ring. It says Genuine Agate on it. Ah, yes, it is a resizable ring. Uh, I'm not sure kind of fits there. It says, have your subjects kiss your royal jewels when wearing this pretty gemstone ring from Geo Central, made out of genuine agate. Not really my style, but it does seem like a really cool ring. I would have preferred maybe blue or a purple color. So I don't know that I'm going to wear it, but I still think it's a pretty cool addition to the box. We have some magnetic bookmarks from Crafted Van. I love magnetic bookmarks, and these ladies are super lovely. We have the Queen of Hearts. Uh, over here is the Queen from... Oh my gosh, please focus. Oh, you haven't even seen the backs of them yet. So three magnetic bookmarks from Crafted Van. On this end, we have the Snow White Queen. In the middle, we have the Queen of Hearts from Alice in Wonderland. And on this end, we have uh, the Queen from Sleeping Beauty. And... To add to the excitement, if you flip them around, they look a little bit different. <laughs> I love it. Next, we have something in a cloth case, an owl crate cloth case. Oh, I think it's a pocket mirror. May you always find beauty. The, the book is The Bells. And this was created by Katrina Book Designs. Inside is a double mirror. There you can see yourself personified a million times. <laughs> the mirror. <laughs> That's very pretty. Ooh. One side is more close up than the other. Ooh. I can see how poorly I did my eyeliner. Lovely. We also have something in a little package here. It feels like a tin. Get out of here. Oh, it is. It looks like a book. I like for things to happen, stories to unfold, and if I can't find a good enough story, I make one. Oh, okay. And then the back says, I'm a mere mortal, and you are a prince of fairy. You have much to lose, and I have nothing. Both quotes are from Holly Black. This is also from Stella Bookish Arts, and it is from The Cruel Prince, which I have not yet read, but we did receive in a previous box. So it must open. Oh, it does. Sharpen your blade, harden your heart. And there it is. That's a cool tin to keep on a shelf and put secrets in. Hmm. Or maybe I could start putting bookmarks in there. I have a ton of bookmarks. They're just in a Ziploc bag. <laughs> But I have varying sizes and stuff, but I don't know. I don't know what I would put in here. You guys tell me, what would you keep in this tin? I like for things to happen. I do want to read The Cool Prince. It is on my to-be-read list, uh, but it's a few books down. <laughs> I have so many to read. The Royal Assassin Tea Towel. I like how it told us right away what this is. 
I can always use tea towels. This is from Little Inklings Designs. She had often wished for adventure for old spells and wicked kings. Wait, she wished for wicked kings? It's from Throne of Glass, but I don't remember this. That, I just finished the second Throne of Glass book, you guys. Amazing! She had often wished for adventure for old spells and wicked kings. I legit do not, I just read this, the first and second book. I don't remember this quote, but sure, love it. And it's a tea towel, so it's useful. <laughs> they give us enough tea and mugs, and now we can also clean up when we spill, as some of us inevitably do. Okay, then we had an, I have an advert here. I wanted freedom in the same way I wanted my next breath, an unspoken but constant desire before she ignites. Another book we got. So the second one must be coming out, As She Ascends. Uh, apparently I'm just behind on books, because this is also on my TBR list, uh, but I haven't read it yet. But cards like this are fun, because you could still use it as... Um, bookmarks. So the second book, it says, comes out September 11th, 2018. So that means it's out already. So you can go buy it. Yay! But I haven't read that first one yet. If any of you have read it, please let me know what you thought of it. Ooh, the book this month is, oh, all my stuff is falling. <laughs> it's Grace and Fury by Tracy Bangart. Grace and Fury. I have never heard of this book. Ooh, that comes with a bookmark. She is in prison for a crime that isn't her own. And now she's about to fight to the death. So the bookmark says. Let's take it out and uh, sniff it. Ooh, the, it's textured. The bookmark is textured on one side and there's another side. She hates everything about the graces and what they represent. And now she is one of them. Ooh. But that side is shiny and this one is textured and I love it. <laughs> So then we also have a letter from the author. Thank you. And now we can take a look at the book and sniff it. And it smells beautiful like a brand new book. She balanced on a precipice as windblown and perilous as a real cliff. There was a difference between defiance and outright rebellion. Could she do this? Could she jump over the ledge? Maybe not for herself, but for her sister. Yes. Books from Owl Crate are signed they either come the book is signed or there's a book plate which is like a piece of paper that is signed and inserted into the book excellent so here's a peek what it looks like inside awesome okay and the first snippet about this book says step into a fantasy dystopian world where women have no rights and very few choices it seems like one girl is on her way to training to become a grace which is someone who works in the court while the other ends up uh, accused of a crime and sent to some sort of prison island where she has to fight to survive but so there's secrets and intrigue and i'm kind of excited i don't know the last time i read a book about like with a sister dynamic, that's kind of interesting. Uh, and the cover is beautiful. And again, I've not heard anything about this book, which is unusual. A lot of Owl Crate books people talk about a lot in the community. I haven't seen any of this. Maybe I've just been avoiding spoilers because I haven't opened my boxes yet, who knows? But it's beautiful. It's a very beautiful book, of course. Oh, so we should see what the normal one looks like because this is going to be the Owl Crate cover. Ooh, cake. Okay, so if we open our book here, <gasps> what? Our cover is miraculous. Look at that difference. What? Can we talk about how it is not fair to the rest of the world <laughs> that they have to get this cover and we get this one. It's beautiful. Oh, I love it. Normally, it is a very small difference in, co in covers, maybe a color choice or something. This is an entirely different cover and it's amazing. Wow. And then the recommendations, if you like this book, are to read The Bells, Selection, and Ash Princess. I've not heard of the middle one, but the other two uh, have great reviews. And then we get a sneak peek for September box, which we're about to open in a minute, which is Masters of Disguise. And there's something in there from Kara Kozik, who had done the Harry Potter mug that we got, which is one of my favorite mugs that I use all the time, actually. That one there. 
It's got Hagrid's cottage on it, and the Forbidden Forest, and the Fort Anglia. Uh, it's super cute. I love it. So now I'm very excited to open the next box. I'm glad I don't have to wait. Oh, there's the card for it. Masters of Disguise. I should just show you the card rather than the little picture in the magazine. Super pretty, super excited, and we already have it so we can move on. Hooray! Um, this box was pretty good. I'm not a fan of the ring, really. Not sure that I'll use the mirror. Maybe I'll take it with me on vacation just in case. I'm not sure. Um, the thing I like the most in this box is probably the book itself, but of course the tea towel. I'm going to use this, and I'm a huge fan of Throne of Glass now, you guys. Huge! Our second box in this video is the September box, the theme being Masters of Disguise. Ooh. Spoiler warning. No thanks. Oh, is that nail polish? Okay, let's do this. I think it is nail polish. Plastic, I'm a cute. Ah, oh, it came back at me. Attack of the plastic. At least here in Sweden, there's lots of recycling going on. They take recycling very, very seriously. Uh, what is this? Grim Lovelies. Pre-order Grim Lovelies before 10 to 18. Oh no, it's too late. It is 10 6 to receive a tote bag and endure sweepstakes of prizes worth $500. I would have loved that. This was higher level magic. Magic reserved for those who are born magical. Like the royals and the goblins, or who were made magical through unendurable pain, like the witches. This is so sad. Why was she, an untrained, untested neophyte, dare to such a spell? I don't know. There was a lot. There's a lot going on in this little tiny card. <laughs> I don't even know how to begin. Uh, but it came with nail polish called Tricks and Whispers. It says Grim Lovelies on it. It's a little hard to see, especially since this camera won't focus. But I have just gotten off my nail polish from Star Stable Live in June. They had done gel nail polish and it took that long for it entirely to come off or be clipped off on my fingers. Uh, yesterday, <laughs> I got the last of it off. So I'm going to be painting my nails for my trip. Uh, I'm not sure about gold. I'm, I'm not, I don't know. I'm thinking maybe something Halloween, so maybe a little gold. We shall see. Where is this from? What is my life? It's definitely not lip balm. I don't even see it on here. I don't know. Maybe this is just an extra thing. Okay. It's not really on the list, but here's the lip balm that I just gave away. Kiss of Deception. Owl Crate exclusive. Apple Spearmint. It is from... I should show it to you as well. That'd probably be good. Uh, Album Mint Limp, 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 Limp Balm. Lip Balm. <laughs> From Geek Fire Labs, inspired by The Kiss of Deception. It's super lovely. Ooh, it smells super lovely. Ooh, what is this? Bath soak. Foaming bath soap. Soak. Nemesis, an Owl Crate exclusive. Inspired by the Diabolic, created by Lilu Soaps. Your bath will be extra shimmery and foamy. I think I've mentioned this before. I don't typically take baths because they give me headaches, but I've gotten so many cool things lately, uh, like bath bombs and such, that I want to try, at the very least, to take pictures of how these things look. I'm very curious as to what this looks like in the bath. Directions for use. Sprinkle contents of packet into warm bath water and enjoy. Ooh, see, how can I, I really want to try this? I don't know. I don't have to stay in the bath forever. I just want to be in there long enough to try it. Hmm. This month's pin. A lovely lady in a mask. Admired by many. Guys, I am so excited by this next item. It's fingerless gloves. Oh, they're so cute and I need them so much. It's getting cold in Sweden already. And walking the dog, my fingers freeze. You are now an honorary member of the Crow Club. Wear your exclusive fingerless gloves when you're up to no good in the streets of Ketterdom, created just for you by Team Owl Crate. They actually have uh, crows on them and the buttons. Super cute. Let's put it on. 
I needed these so much. Thank you, Owl Crate. <laughs> now I can be a proper hoodlum to do hoodlum things. Walk the dog. <gasps> Ooh. Bandity things in the dark, but while keeping my fingers kind of warm. <gasps> Yay! This I'm very excited. I think it's another mug, uh, by the same person who did the previous mug. Her name's Kara Kosick, and I love that mug. It is one of the favorites that I have. <gasps> I think it's the next book. I think it's Prisoner of Azkaban. <gasps> That's what, that's my favorite Harry Potter book is Prisoner of Oz. Look at that, it's so cool. <gasps> the Dementors and his Patronus. Uh, it's trying to focus, but the picture is actually a little, um, a little fuzzy to begin with. That's the style. This is so cool. And there's Hogwarts and the night bus. Please focus on the night bus. Oh, that's so cool. I'm so excited. We have another one. It's a good tea mug and coffee. It fits under my Nespresso machine. That's so cool. Thank you, Owlcrate. I love this box. This is one of my favorites, I think. We have an art print by Christy Carter, inspired by Shades of Magic. Ooh, look at that mask. I want that for my Star Stable character. I would like my Star Stable character to have this as well. Obviously we don't have weapons, but I love this top. That is beautiful. And now we have our book. It's called Mirage. Ooh. Mirage. With our letter in the back there. This book seems to be about a poor girl that is kidnapped and taken to the castle because she actually resembles the hated princess. So she is probably going to have to work as the princess's double, which probably really stinks if nobody likes the princess. Uh, so Maya Dowd? I hope, I hope I'm saying this right. So Maya, it sounds very pretty. Ooh, 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 it goes this way. <laughs> Yay! The crown of Daya had been stripped from me. My face changed, my body broken. But I was not a slave, and I was not a spare. I was my mother's daughter, and I would survive and endure. I would find my way back home. That sounds super intriguing. Oh. Ah, there's our signature. We can take a look inside. Oh. The chapter headers are... Labels are very pretty. Oh, there's pictures. Hold on. Oh. Nice. Um, this sounds super intriguing. It's a stunning debut with a sci-fi fantasy setting. And a, Mor Ooh, a Moroccan background. That sounds cool. I've not read something like that before. Oh. Rebel Angel. Doesn't Rebel Angel take place in Morocco? Something similar, maybe? Uh, Mirage. This sounds... Ooh. Ooh. It's raised. Uh, super, super soft, this whole cover. I know that's so bizarre to say about a book cover, but it's super soft. And, oh, we have to take a look and see how this cover differs from the regular ones. Oh. Ours is black. The regular is purple. Uh, uh, mine still looks pretty purple. Oh, I guess the background is still black with hints of purple i don't know from here i would say i would like the purple one better but ours doesn't quite look the same there's more purple in it than it looks in the uh in the paperwork so this is definitely black but this has some extra purple in it so i really like this cover i'm not disappointed even though i feel like in the picture i would have picked the purple one as the one i liked more so, if you're interested in this book, they also recommend The Diabolic, The City of Brass, and Children of Blood and Bone. I've not read any of these, but I've heard amazing things about this book. Okay, so October's box is Lost in the Bookstore. Ooh, that sounds cool. And the sneak peek... Ooh, there's socks! There's socks on the back from Out of Print. 
Oh, I hope we get some socks. Those are super cute. That, that has books on it. That's a library card. And those socks uh, have rabbits on them. Oh, it looks like the rabbit from Alice in Wonderland is what it looks like. So that is awesome. I loved this box. There's... I throw the card. There's so much in here that I can use. I'm a huge fan of these gloves. Like, that's amazing. That's a really cool addition. And the mug, you guys, I love the first mug. And now I have one from my favorite Harry Potter book. Let me know what your favorite Harry Potter book is in the comments below, because I loved all of them except the last one. The last one was just... I read it once and was so disappointed, I've not touched it again. I've read all the other ones so many times. I mean, I guess it's worth a reread at some point. Maybe now I'll feel a bit differently than when it came out. But anyway, Prisoner of Azkaban was always my favorite. So let me know your favorite in the comments below. And give a thumbs up if you liked any of the things in these boxes. Let me know what you thought. Uh, it was kind of fun to do two in one. and I just happened to have them sitting here and hadn't been able to do an unboxing until now. Uh, but hopefully I can start doing them regularly again when I get back from my trip. But thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. These boxes are super fun for me. I end up getting lots of stuff that I like and more books to read. Uh, and I love talking about books. So <laughs> thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate it. Please subscribe for more unboxings and game videos, Star Stable especially. <laughs> and I will see you guys next time. Bye!